the ceiling, uh All for the love of drug dealing, uh Marble flaws, uh Go ceiling, uh Oh, what a feeling Fuck it, I want a billion Yo, whatever this planet Now, um, I recently got a job So this brings back memories for me, right? Now, I make pretty good money outside of working Because I'm a full-time student and I do other things I'm just saying so my brother Kyle, he's like, yo, not fresh. Oh, first of all, not fresh, not fresh. So my brother Kyle comes up to me. He's like, yo, you want to make some money on the side? And I'm like, yo, Stevie J, I ain't going back to the club. But he's like, no, 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 it's nothing like that, nothing like that. Just come on, work with me. You only work like two, three days a week, make you some cash on the side, have you like 14 paychecks a month, whatever you want. <laughs> so this ain't about me starting to work with him. I'll probably talk about that later. When I ain't got it, when I don't have a video to put up, when I don't have a live time to put up. <laughs> so I used to work at the San Diego Convention Center. Yes, I do work live in San Diego. Yes. If you can find me, bro, the San Diego is like third, second, third largest city in the United States, bro. You can do it. Shit, more power to you. So you must get master hacker, bro. <laughs> you must have did the whole PS3 to shut that shit down. Shut it down, shut it, but yeah. So I used to work at the San Diego Convention Center now. My first official work day, not my first day that I got paid because, you know, you get paid for orientation. I don't know if you have a job, but let you know if you don't have a job. When you know you when you're hired and they just bring you in and give you clothes and just tell you, make you watch videos, you get paid for that shit. Just saying. Just saying. So first official work day, I was like, ah, I was 18. Oh, yeah, I was 18. You have to be 18 working in this center. I don't know why. I guess they want mature motherfuckers, but I know a lot of now I'm immature motherfuckers. But anyway, so first official work day, we sitting in there in the uh, hall. Now the halls is where the Comic Con is. You know, you see that shit on G4, you see it all over the news, all that shit. Halls is where Comic Con is. The halls is huge, huge. Now just imagine that completely empty. Convention center is uh, five, six football fields long. Just empty space. <laughs> empty, empty space. Nothing but concrete, whatever. So, first day, you get on, they certify you for forklift. Now, you may not ever drive forklifts at the convention center, but you're going to learn today. <laughs> you're going to learn today. So, we get in the forklift, right? We're doing, we're going through these cones, we're going through this, we're lifting up chair racks, dropping them, putting them, stacking them, all these things. So, we, um, Dude gets a call. Paul Muffler. I'll never forget him. Paul Muffler. I'll still use him for my references. Paul Muffler. Yo, he gets a call. Everybody gets next tails because it's huge in there. He gets a call. He's like, okay, okay, I'll be right there. So he's like, okay, guys, just chill here. I'll be right back. So he leaves. And, of course, two 18-year-olds. And the dude I was with name was Fred. We got on at the same time. He left before me. But we got on at the same damn time. So we look at each other. Nobody's around. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody's around. So we in the hall, right? And of course, we're going to race. Everybody knew we were going to race. Come on. Even he knew we was going to race. So we race. We do one lap, What? which is about, we did about 300 feet and turn around 300 feet, go back there. So we did one lap and then we did two laps, right? That's, that's what comes after one is two, right? So. Go around now. I was winning the whole time, and I think it's because my fork level was four. It had uh, the it turns with the front wheels, and his turn with the back wheels. Which I guess turning with the back wheels is better for lifting shit and putting shit down, but turning with the front wheels is better for racing. Who doesn't know that? Like, who who doesn't know that? But anyway, so he I was winning. He just I guess he decides that you know what? I ain't taking this shit no more. I ain't gonna be no loser, and he just goes ahead and hits the turn around this pillar so hard and flips that whole forklift now luckily he was seat he was in his seat belt or he would have probably broke a shoulder or got a concussion oh no you know he probably had the whole danny amadola injury list that day so he flips it my first instinct is get the fuck out of there <laughs> so i get out unhook my seatbelt and make a straight beeline bro i'm talking about motherfucking straight <laughs> just straight uh hussein bolt nigga to the goddamn elevator freight elevator now the freight elevator always gets stuck and apparently it was stuck that day so i was sitting there jamming the button i turn around he right next to me i'm like yo we both can't run 
He was like, what you mean we both can't run? <laughs> and I was like, well, we, we, we can't, man, because one of either, either you getting fired or we both getting fired. You can't take me down, would you? Right, so eventually he was like, you know what, all right, bro. <laughs> so we ended up walking back after about five minutes of sitting there jamming the button trying to get in the elevator. We ended up walking back, and I used the forklift I had to pick up his forklift. And what would you know it? As soon as I picked that bitch up and getting on his all all his wheels, Paul comes back down. He's like, "What you guys was doing?" And I was like, "Oh, we, was, you know, we was just uh, yeah." <laughs> to this day, I still haven't answered that question. <laughs> but uh, I might talk about my first day of my other job, my new job. So look out for that. But that might be like ten years from now. Who knows?